Let me give you a little bit of a wizard history lesson. May 29th, 1993, I won my first ever hair versus hair match when I shaved Cavernicula Trace bald in the middle of Arena, Mexico. Now, you might not have heard of Cavernicula Trace, but I guarantee you've heard of Kevin Nash, one of the biggest stars in the history of this business. Well, I cut his hair August 18th, 2003, and went 2-0 in hair versus hair matches. And now this Wednesday... June 15th, 2022, live on Dynamite from St. Louis. I have my third hair versus hair match against you, Ortiz. And I know it was funny when you cut that piece of hair out of the back of my head in Los Angeles a few weeks ago. Everyone was laughing at me. But let me remind you this, that piece of hair, that six inch piece of hair that you cut out of the back of my head is worth more than your entire AEW contract. You understand me? And herein lies the problem. I hear you talk trash about me, and I like that. It shows that you've got hope. But hope is all you have. Because what you've done wrong is you've left your lane, Ortiz. You've always known your place. You're a great foot soldier. You're a great second banana. And that's why I always liked you in the inner circle. You did what you were told. And unlike Santana, who tried to take over, or Sammy Guevara, who got a big head, you always knew your role, knew your place, and did a great job. And now speaking of second bananas, you're happy being Eddie Kingston's monkey. Swinging behind him, vine to vine, making him laugh, amusing him. Well, I'm going to take that vine. I'm going to wrap it around your neck and I'm going to pull it until you stop swinging and just start spinning in a circle round and round. Ortiz, I deal in facts, not hope. I deal in reality, and the reality is this. I'm going undefeated in hair versus hair matches. And this Wednesday, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to shave your head, and I'm going to burn your face. Why? Because I'm a wizard. See you on Wednesday, monkey. Monkey. <laughs>